Okay, hello. Noel Young here from NY Wines of Cambridge, and I'm talking to you about the Cluster Long Wines from Valencia in Spain, um, which I'm a big fan of. Um, many of you know me will know that I actually spend um, seven to ten days a month living in Valencia, um, working remotely, and I've been to nearly all the, you know, nearly all the good vineyards, good wineries in the area. Lucky enough to go to Cluster Long last year. Um, very impressive outfit. They are, in fact, the biggest um, vineyard owners in Valencia. Um, they sell an awful lot of grapes on, and in fact, actually sell a lot of actual um, wine. So, a lot of people will buy uh, either pre fermented, just the juice, or after fermentation wine and take it to their own wineries and sell it. They've got fantastic vineyards, uh, all in an area called Fontenars del Alforins, or the Val del Alforins, which is about 110 kilometres southwest of Valencia. Valencia itself has got no real vineyards, very, very flat, very warm. But you literally sort of start travelling within sort of 40 or half an hour of leaving Valencia, you'll see the sort of the terrain changes from sort of palm trees to olive trees, and you're going uphill nearly all the way. So by the time you get to the, uh, the Val del Alforins, the vineyards are between 400 and 900 metres above sea level, and this makes a huge a huge difference in why you can make good wine here, because you've got the temper temperature differentials between day and night. Um, you might get 40 degrees in a day, but it'll go down to below 20 overnight, which means the wines, uh, the grapes. Um, retain acidity and you can make much better wine. So for many, many, many years they literally were just uh, sold the grapes on or, or the must. Um, and I believe 2018 was the first vintage they started to make some wine for themselves. Still pretty small production, but obviously they've got access to brilliant vineyards. Um, and they make a really nice range of wines. I think they're very well packaged, they're well priced, they're all, um, the core range is under, well under 20 pounds. And they're very, very flavorful. You start off with a white, uh, it's made with a Malvasia grape. Malvasia is a grape that works really well in Mediterranean climates like Valencia. Um, and this makes a lovely wine with real um, grapefruit and lemon and white peach. Four months on leaves, this gives it a little bit of texture and creaminess. Really like this. Monastrell, they use this to make a lovely rose. Looks sort of Provencal in style, but it's got a lot more flavor, um, a little bit weightier in style. Again, four months on leaves to give it a bit of, bit of character. And the reds, quite a clever format here. Um, these are all from mature vineyards, low yielding, and these are all terraced vineyards. Um, they literally pick everything uh, and get it to the winery really quickly during the, during the day, so there's no sort of grapes out in the, in the sun. So you get the, the wines have a nice freshness to them. The way they um, process the grapes as well is quite unusual in terms of that they chill the grapes down, um, everything's done with um, almost no oxygen. And they just give the wines one month of oak. Um, and that little, just a little blast of oak, just give the wines a little bit of creaminess of the palate. The Garnacha, probably my favorite, it's actually a blend of two different types of Garnacha. Garnacha Tinterera, which is a tincture, which means it's a, it's a grape that's both the skin and the flesh is black, and it's red as well as, the, as well as the skin. And regular Garnacha, lovely, bright, peppery style. Tempranillo, made pretty much in the same way, one month um, in oak, um, mature vines. Quite a big, weighty style of Tempranillo. It's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's an impressive, quite sort of flashy style. And then move on to the Isidra, which is one of their flagships. It's a blend 50-50 Garnacha Tempranillo. This spends 12 months in oak. A bit more serious wine altogether. Again, not ridiculously priced. Um, 2020 is the current vintage, and I think it's drinking really well. We have a great success with these wines, uh, both in the wine bar, which you can see I'm in now, but also in the shop and in mail order. And they're very characterful wines, um, very well made and well priced, and I think would do well for, for most independents. Cheers.